Hey folks, Ken and the Data Monkey back again. And in this week's episode of Monkey Shorts, we're going to look at sorting for power pivot backed objects, pivot tables and slicers. So you can see here, I've got a pivot table uh, built with power pivot. And one of the obvious problems right away is that my month names are not showing up in the correct order. They're showing up in alphabetical order, which is the default that happens when you load text into the data model. Now, as it happens, I've also got a couple of other things going on, class and category. These are also showing in alphabetical order, but that's not the way that I want to see them. I actually want to have uh, food first and beverages second, then other. And then inside my category, I wanted them sorted. So my burgers is going to be first, then beer, wine, then other. So obviously not alphabetical. Now to fix this is actually pretty easy. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pop over to Power Pivot and we're going to jump in to manage the data model. This is what it looks like, by the way. So nothing super, super exciting here. Uh, but I'm just going to dump into Data View and I'm going to jump over right now into my categories table where I am. So I have an entry here for class. And the big key thing I want you to recognize here is that for every unique entry you see here, we've got a value that matches it over here. So beverages is always two, food is always one, other is always three. And this is perfect because it means I can do this. I can sort my class by a different column, class sort. Now it doesn't really seem to do anything here. I'm also gonna sort my category by cat sort as well. And then while I'm in here, I'm also going to jump over and take a look at calendar. Uh, inside here, I've got my month short, which is what's on my pivot table on the slicer. I'm going to sort that differently. We're actually going to go by the month of our fiscal year because my fiscal year actually doesn't start January 1st. And while I'm here, I might as well do days as well, which must be sorted not by day number, but by day of week. Okay, this one's really important because Monday is one, Tuesday and so forth, always the same number. What you'll see when I jump back into Excel now, you can see right away that my slicer has changed. I have a September 30th year end, so October is always the first month. So in my month sorting column, October was one, November's two, and so forth. Mm -hmm. Notice that my food is first, beverages, and then other, and then within my categories, we got burgers, beer, wine, and other. And this actually gets really cool because now if I go and pull my fiscal year on here, you can even see that everything is broken down into the individual months correctly. Okay, so sorting inside a power pivot based pivot table or slicer is not hard. The big thing you got to remember is that you've got to have that one to one relationship between what you're sorting and what you are sorting uh, by what's that index number, they got to match on a one to one basis. Thank you for watching this episode of monkey shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.